New at 10 o'clock. Should attacks on police officers be treated as hate crimes? A local state legislator thinks so, and he's trying to make this reality. Jeff Paul joining us in Dallas with how officers say a move like that could help. Well, Doug, it was right in this area here outside of El Centro College where uh, an attack occurred involving officers where investigators say it was based purely on the fact that they were wearing a badge. Months after that deadly ambush, House Bill 429 aims to strengthen the penalty against anyone if an attack like that or others should ever occur again. It's the first time Detective Ed Lujan is opening up about the night that should have been his last. I could feel... Uh, a euphoria of my life and soul leaving my body. So I knew I was dying. The Dallas officer was working at off duty uniform detail at the Kalua discotheque. The only thing that crossed my mind was to survive. Investigators say Lujan was helping escort Eduardo Gonzalez Rios out of the club after he caused a disturbance. That's when they say Gonzalez Rios jumped in his SUV and aimed right at Lujan. He completely ran me over and then uh, deliberately ran me over two other times. Lujan was then dragged underneath for 50 yards. They teach in the academy that uh, you always go home, and that's what I was thinking. He broke his leg, ribs, nose, sternum. His head was scalped, and Lujan suffered a traumatic brain injury that still impacts him. We're a target. I honestly believe that. That couldn't have been more apparent than on July 7th. We are seeing support on both sides. State legislator Jason Vialba feels such attacks should be treated as hate crimes. We're talking about attacks against people based on one thing, and that's a status. Vialba wants to add a category to the state hate crime code that includes all first responders. House Bill 429 would elevate the charge a suspect is facing one level. We want to make sure that we show them that we have their back like we know they have ours. Luhan hopes the bill becomes law. He says it'll not only protect officers, but hopefully change lives. At least if a bad guy thinks about assaulting an officer in any, of, any way, uh, he needs to have that in the back of his mind saying, hey, if, this, if I do this, you know, I can go to jail for a long, long time. Now, Luan is still waiting for his case to go to trial. The bill, though, was just referred to a committee this week and we're told has support amongst many legislators. Reporting live here in downtown Dallas, I'm Jeff Paul, CBS 11 News.